Hello everybody, my name is IDK Name, and welcome to my in-depth arms guide. I did a short one a little while ago, and it was kinda crap. So I'm gonna redo it, and it's going to be a lot better. So right now you've got annotations on the screen for, once again, talents, glyphs, macros, rotation, and uh, anything else I feel necessary. Well, uh, let's head into the video. Alrighty, so try to please ignore my UI, it's kinda crap at the moment, but these are the talents you're gonna pick for PvP. You're gonna have Juggernaut, Enrage Regeneration, Sudden Death, and you can choose between Stormbolt and Shockwave, just because, I mean, you either get the long distance stun or you can stun multiple targets, which they're both useful in their own respects, and then you can choose between Mass, Spell Reflection, and Save Car, which are both good for their own reasons. And uh, for the way I'm going to show you, you're going to want Avatar and Anger Management. For Glyphs, you have a lot, and I mean a lot, of flexibility. That's a good word. So, I'm rolling Bull Rush, Shattering Throw, Rallying Cry. So, Shattering Throw used to be an ability for Arms and Fury Warriors out, it was just part of it, but now it's a glyph, and I choose to use it over some of the other things. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff in here, but I definitely pick Shattering Throw because it's really good in arenas, you know, if you're one-on-one -on -one and a paladin, you know, it's good to break, be able to break their bubble, you know. <laughs> Bull Rush because arms is a lot about rage and how much rage you have and how much potential rage that you have. So that's what we're gonna. That's why I have Bull Rush. You can use Enrage Speed and or whatever you want to do. And finally, you're gonna go with I do Glyph of Rallying Cry, which is when you use Rallying Cry, you will not only get a your health boost, but you will get a 20% leech, and leech will heal you for uh, however much you have. It's a tertiary stat. It's not terribly great, but I believe it's getting buffed. Uh, but either way, it's really great, and especially if you have, you know, you've got that health bonus you've got in rage, if you've got rege in rage regeneration on, it definitely will help, and it will certainly keep you standing if your healer is in CC or something of the sort. Minor glyphs really don't matter. They really don't. I mean, there's some kind of cool things. I mean, I have Mystic Shout. Uh, there's really nothing interesting. They're all pretty, pretty much useless, just like all minor glyphs. So don't get scared by this little macro interface. You're not going to use like half of these, really. Uh, some macros that I will certainly suggest, and one that I basically require that you have, are of the following. You're going to want your mitigate. That's what I have it called as, and it activates defensive stance. It should have commanding shout in here as well. And die by the sword. This will make you take as little damage as possible. Along to go with your saving, save yourself macro, which will activate commanding shout, rallying cry, and rage regeneration, your health stone, and sweeping strikes. Now if you're probably asking, why sweeping strikes? Well, it's because it's like a multi-strike that affects extra targets. And while you are you have that leech, that extra 50% is about an extra 10%. So, you, I mean, really, you gain yourself 30% health off of that. So that is, that is a really, really nice thing to have on when you're trying to do as much damage as possible to get as much health back as possible. You're going to want your charge improve. Which, uh, this is basically just a way of keeping your bars a little bit cleaner and being able to do some things that you're going to do in the first place, you know, easily. So what this does is it charges somebody if you are out of range for melee, and if you are within melee range, it will also use rend and hamstring. These should actually be switched, because uh, hamstring is a bit more important than rend. That's definitely what you're going to want to use more. And that's what you're going to be trying to refresh more often. So that's that. You're, you're going to want an interrupt. I don't actually have this on my bar. It's messed with my UI and it got flung off somehow. Some way or another, but basically you're just going to charge and pummel. 
that's it. and then finally you've can, you're gonna have your super epic burst macro so this is going to cast recklessness cast avatar use your 13 or whichever slot you have your on use trinket on so 13 or 14 I have it on 13 because I am a human cast storm bolt which uh, that's only if you have it uh, if you don't have it it won't you know if you have if you're rolling shockwave like I am you uh, you won't be affected by not having storm bolt you'll still be able to use this perfectly fine and then it will charge and sweeping strikes once again sweeping strikes because since you're doing so much damage why not pass it around to some others and share the love now uh, let's go to a rotation all right so to start off your rotation you're obviously going to start off with your charge macro you're going to colossal smash when available mortal strike when available execute if you get a sudden death proc and Whirlwind if you have extra Rage. Try and keep Sweeping Strikes up if it is a possibility and you've got excess Rage. But if, you know, if you're in an arena and there's really nothing around to deal with, then don't worry about it. Just keep it off. And uh, you can use your Burst whenever you like. I use my Burst more often than I use Sweeping Strikes, so I have it in front of it. So, let's go ahead and charge into battle here. So you're going to get a lot of Rage off of the start of... Uh, the pole and uh, you're gonna be able to because of your charge so once my so you're gonna see some stuff I've got some thunderclaps some stun fear interrupt just a whole bunch of macro or er, not macros keybinds so that I have a lot of stuff to use so if you look at my damage meter I'm definitely doing a lot of damage uh, a lot more than is really <laughs> balanced. You know, if you're looking at my scrolling battle text, and when you've got your burst active, you're gonna have a lot of extra damage. So what I would suggest is that you make sure you have Colossus Smash before you Mortal Strike or Whirlwind or Execute with your burst because you will do so much more damage on players. Last thing to mention is that you've always got your defensives and stuff you've got safeguard to charge to an ally so if you need to get out of a route or something of the sort you got your spell reflect just you know in case you need to reflect a fear or a hunter trap or something of the sort you got your die by the sword and uh berserker rush or rage sorry and your trinket which if you're not a human you will have your but i have every man for himself Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, make sure you like and subscribe for more. And, uh, hope you learned something. And, uh, hope you make use of this before Arms Warriors gets n get nerfed. But I will make an updated guide for some other form of superior DPS, uh, stuff when that, uh, when that begins to be effect in effect. I will see you all later. Goodbye.